Alzheimer's disease was first recognized by Alois Alzheimer as presenile dementia in 1906. There are two types of Alzheimer's disease. One is the heritable one, known as the early onset familiar Alzheimer's disease. The clinical symptom can appear in a very young age and it is account for approximately 25% of all Alzheimer cases. The remaining 75% is a sporadic Alzheimer's disease, which constitutes the vast majority of Alzheimer disease cases and is also apparently influenced by genetic contribution and multiple non-genetic environmental factors. Several genetic polymorphisms have been proposed as an increasing risk factors for this disease. Among this, the epsilon-4 allele of the upper lipoprotein E is the best characterized predisposing factor for sporadic Alzheimer's disease. The sporadic form is age-associated. It is mainly diagnosed in people whose ages are over 65, with the prevalence of Alzheimer's disease being shown to grow exponentially with age. It is prevalent among 10 to 20 percent of elderly people, which makes Alzheimer's disease an emerging social health issue with the rise of an aging population in the coming decades. Especially at the age of 85, 50 percent of people face the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Epidemiological data predict that by 2050, over 35 millions of people will be affected worldwide. The main symptoms of Alzheimer's disease include progressive memory loss, impairment of other cognitive functions, and inability to perform daily activities. The early or preclinical pathology begins in hypocampus and leads to some memory loss, a symptom which may not be noticed as a warning sign at first and may only come in picture retrospectively after the diagnosis. As the disease progresses into the clinical stage, cortical shrinkage occurs in the frontal, temporal and occipital lobes. The earliest clinical stage of Alzheimer's disease is defined as mild cognitive impairment and characterized by increased memory loss and other cognitive function disturbance, such as declining language skill and mild loss in the reasoning. Patients preserve their functional abilities at this stage. The night-day cycle is disturbed and it leads to sleepiness at day and being awake at night. In the final stage of Alzheimer, the hippocampus is half size of that found in a normal brain, resulting in a complete loss of memory. Severe neurodegeneration in the cortex leads to an ability to speak or understand any form of communication and the patient loses personality. At the later stage, the pathology spreads and affects basic functions, such as bowel, bladder control, respiration and swallowing. The patient's inability to breathe properly often leads to pneumonia, which is the main reason of death. Pathologically, Alzheimer brain is characterized by two major protein abnormalities, extracellular amyloid B deposition and intracellular neurofibrillary tangles formation. Both ultimately leading to extensive neuronal degeneration. Today, the available therapeutic agents are only able to slow disease progression with limited benefits.